Welcome to this episode of On Finding Peace, brought to you by Life's Journey Life Coaching. Our host, Chris Shea, is a counselor, nationally recognized speaker, and author on topics of guiding us to finding peace in our daily lives. Learn more about Chris Shea by visiting his website, www.lifesjourneyblog.com. Welcome to uh, On Finding Peace, and I'm very pleased to be joined today uh, by my guest, uh, T. Marie. And uh, welcome, Merry Christmas, and glad to have you with us. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me today. Uh, I just needed to, as I've been following you on Instagram and uh, taking a look at your story, um, and we'll talk about your book coming up too, but looking at all of that about you, I just knew that you would be perfect to be on here, uh, really to talk about uh, what it's it's like to find peace in our lives and uh, for the people who generally listen to guest and, and vlog I tend to focus on mindfulness and, and practical tips to help us move in finding inner peace and when you know I, I kind of follow some of your uh, writing and what you're doing uh, that seemed to be perfect for following into how do we find that inner peace uh, so if you don't mind, mind uh, T. Marie, tell us a little bit about what you are doing, and uh, we'll jump from there. Great. So when you ask what I'm doing in relation to my practice for peace, mm -hmm. oh, my goodness. Well, <laughs> okay. That's a so, big one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is a big one. It is a big one, and it certainly has been a journey. The short answer is I pray, I meditate, and I definitely utilize affirmations. Mm. So pray, meditate, and affirmations. And there is scientific evidence to back this up. There is certainly tons of spiritual evidence to back mm -hmm. this up, how well it can work for anyone who employs these methods. But those are the three things I do, and I do it every day. I definitely pray and affirm multiple times a day, and I meditate at least once a day. But it certainly was a journey, so if anyone <laughs> listening or watching is not there yet and just starting, you can start with one of these practices and you'll be excellent. And don't worry if you are not doing it a lot at first, because I don't think anyone just dives right in and does it. <laughs> Probably not. No. Probably I, not. I, <laughs> so uh, definitely for me, it's been a journey. I had to take a little bit at a time, but I definitely, definitely highly recommend and utilize daily affirmations, prayer, and meditation. But, and, and that sounds like a wonderful practice. And like you say, it, it takes a, a journey to get there. And I have no doubt because I was there once too, that there's people who are watching and listening who are saying, Hey, they're full. I hear people say that they look happy and at peace and that's great. Not me. So no, I'm, they're better than me. Um, what, what do you say to that? I mean, how, how can we be, as everybody, you know, sitting around saying, yeah, I'm doing my best, but I'm still not happy. And everybody else looks happy. And, um, how do I get moving with that? Well, oh my gosh, this, these are excellent questions because certainly now with social media, mm. it's a beautiful tool. And then it's also this, this strange situation that goes on because we're seeing cultivated moments. Okay. So what happens is of course, a lot of us, I mean, I, I have a few videos where, you know, I mean, I'm in tears or stuff's going down, but even generally on the masses, they're going to show you their, their good moments, their positive, smiling, good right. moments. And so we just have to remember, first of all, that that's very real. And there's an aspect of that, but, when we're feeling down or when we're feeling like I'm not there yet, or when we're feeling like that seems like too much for me right now, that's okay too. Mm -hmm. uh, that's totally normal. You are human and it's okay. So it's great. Just have your moment and just feel at peace with that. Like, okay, look, that seems like a lot right now. 
but then don't, don't camp there. Right. So that's a good thing, you know? So you say, okay, first, this is where I'm at. So let's tackle, let's say for praying. Uh, I've had clients where they maybe had a relationship and then a falling out with God, or um, maybe they're just kind of feeling like I pray, but then I'm not really feeling anything. And we'll start with that. Listen, no prayer is not answered and no prayer is not heard. And so there's no formal thing that anybody has to do. If you don't know how to pray, the easiest recommendations, I guess, prayers you can ever say. Thank you for whatever it is that you love, appreciate. And then another very, very awesome thing that I highly recommend and absolutely works is imagine whatever entity, and I say entity because some of us, our best friend is our kitty or our doggy. And mm -hmm. so imagine that that person or animal that you love, love, love to just be around and just talk, talk to the higher power that way. Mm -hmm. Your best, most comfortable person or whatever, and just talk it out. So if you don't have any prayer practice whatsoever, those are two practical tips, just starting for someone that it might seem like a lot. And I have to share this with you also because when I started, um, it was in and out, meaning mm -hmm. I really need something. Oh, my gosh, help me. And then things are cool. I'm OK. <laughs> and uh, also with meditation, it was that seems like a lot. And that's cool. I'll start with mm -hmm. this much, but don't even think I'm going to do it every day. And then as I started to see benefits, then I grew more. So wherever mm -hmm. you're at. And whatever you feel comfortable, if you're listening to something and you say, oh, prayer sounds cool or affirming sounds cool, because we all get a tingle that kind of leads us, start there, start easy and and watch the magic unfurl. <laughs> it kind of sounds like what you're saying is be patient with yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think too many times we can get down on ourselves because, and especially I think with New Year's coming up and all the resolutions, you know, we tend to set all these wonderful high goals, you know, so they could be listening and saying, hey, look, that's what she's been doing. So, all right, January 1st, every day I'm doing it. And then January 3rd comes and I'm too tired and didn't do it. And now I'm a failure. So maybe we need to be patient with ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. That's so key, Chris. You know, patience is important and where we can be gentle. Um, mm. I, I hear a lot of, I have clients that tell me, they say, you know, I just can't sit still. Mm. So with meditation, they feel like I just can't sit still. I don't get it. I'm not feeling the peace or I'm not getting rid of thoughts. And right. you know, something there's so many forms of meditation. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot out there and you can go guided, you can go breathing, you can go moving meditation. So there's lots of options. So when we have those feelings and we're sitting in, in judgment with ourselves, or maybe we're being a little too critical, we can just say, you know what? Maybe this isn't the one for me. How about mm -hmm. this one? You know, I, I normally like to move. I'm going to try Tai Chi or a walking meditation or, you know what? Um, uh, just let me be guided and I'll share with you guided is my personal favorite guided and vision are my favorite meditations to, to partake in. Why, why does that kind of spark more for you than some of the other meditations? Well, because what I love about it is that it really takes the pressure off. So when it, for instance, okay. Anyone new to meditation or even some of those that practice, some of us that practice all the time, when we mm -hmm. sit and just breathe and, and I'll, I'll be the first, maybe I'm the only one. Have you ever just all of a sudden you don't know how to breathe <laughs> and you're like, yeah, or, or you're just like, no, I should go slower. And you're like, you know, it's weird. And you start getting in this weird mm -hmm. thing. So same thing when we're yep. like, clear your thoughts. Oh, forget about it. Now, every thought under the sun <laughs> is in your exactly. mind. <laughs> so, yep. you know, so that's why when you just 
uh, listen to a guided meditation. You just either pop it in or listen, you know, you're on, on your phone. And then it's just like, okay, now we're gonna close our eyes. Okay, now we're gonna breathe. Okay, now we're gonna, same thing with visioning. You know, it's easy. This is a way where we can kind of be in tune with our thoughts, be in tune with maybe mm -hmm. cultivating or creating. And so I find that it's a wonderful practice and it just seems gentler than, okay, sit mm -hmm. in silence with your eyes closed and just don't think anything. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and that that you just described is what i was first taught a few decades ago and that has always been very difficult you know i i don't mind sitting but a sit and just like wipe everything out and reflect no because that's when everything flows in I start thinking of all the things i have to do and the things i didn't do and the moment is just not there yeah, so that, that's, you know, a great tip that way and, uh, you know, really to help somebody to understand that and to be patient. And, you know, I think, too, if your mind keeps getting flooded with things, well, maybe take a, a quick look at it. You know, maybe something that's flooding your mind is something that needs to be addressed, you know, and maybe something to at least note in yourself that this is happening. That is so true. It is so true. And that's another reason why when we're, I, I feel like, so similar to any kind of teaching, you know how mm -hmm. there's the beginning level mm -hmm. and then we advance a little. Now we're maybe intermediate. Now we're mid-level. Next thing you know, we're advanced. I, I really feel when it comes to meditation, the sitting and truly where, you know, you can have that clean slate, nothingness, you're just with the breath. I think it's attainable for every person, but I do also think that's an advanced level. And what I love about what you just said is that when we're taught that right away, we feel that that's the goal to attain. It seems like anything but that is a failure or a misstep. Mm. And so one thing, and that's so advanced what, you're, what you've just expressed is when we are having a thought that continually comes to us, it is something that we can take a listen to. And so mm -hmm. having that knowing is very powerful. And right. it, it, it's a great thing. Absolutely. And another reason, if I have to backtrack one more, one more awesome thing about guided and awesome thing about visioning is that mm -hmm. when we have this advanced form of we're just sitting with the breath and not having any thoughts, it almost seems like, uh, when will I reach the goal? Because it, mm -hmm. you know, when will I get there? And when you're doing guided or a visualized, you seem, I seem personally, and I've seen people achieve or receive something that lets them know there is something here, seemingly mm -hmm. quicker than just sitting in silence. So if you've never tried meditation, uh, watchers, listeners, there's a couple options, hopefully, for you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and awesome. And, and I would agree with you. Start with the one you had described, you know, what the guy did. Um, and we did have a, uh, well, it looks like maybe a question or you've answered uh, one of our uh, watches right now just typed into the Q&A. Uh, T. Marie, you just answered my question, how you get away from daily distractions to pray, affirm or meditate. Thank you. So. We had a question. You answered it before we typed it. <laughs> well, hi. Uh, just letting you know. <laughs> so that, that was from Daniel. So, uh, so that that's awesome that that you answered uh, on there. But I, I think you brought up a, a really important uh, point about that goal. You know, and and maybe we could speak a bit more about the goals because I think that's one of the things that, at least that I found for myself as well as some of my own clients that. You know, you, you've got that euphoria when you start, you know, and then you start meditating and things are going great and, and you are just feeling better about yourself. But then, you know, life just kicks in, you know, and you do your meditation and it's fine, but eh, not really excited. You know, it's okay. What, what do you define as, or, you know, how should people look for that goal to, to keep them going along because life Life is going to be life, and that is true for anything we start in life. Sure, sure. Well, okay, so there's two things. The first thing is that 
with meditation, yes, there are some awesome highs, right? So there are some awesome, there are times when you sit down and you do get like the blank mind or you see you have colors or you're just like at this incredible peace in between being asleep and awake. Like you're, you're, you're clear, but you're just, it's beautiful, right? So all this juicy, awesome stuff starts happening. And you're like, you know what? I'm on my mountaintop. <laughs> I've achieved. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you know, things are happening in life. And I think, and, and it's, talk to me, Chris, tell me if, if you can relate to this. So especially when you're new and, and stuff's okay. juicy and then you're like, okay, cool. And then things hit the fan, so to speak. And then things get busy. And then what happens? I think a little bit of the old sometimes comes back. And then it's like, well, you know, I'm really stressed. So maybe I don't sit as long. I'm really busy. I got a long day. I, I don't, you know, so sometimes we fall into that. And all I can say is definitely keep meditating. And if you have to cut it down, just make sure you get some in. Uh, there's great apps out there. I use mm -hmm. Insight Timer and it's cool. So if you have something on your phone, that's that can be fun. Um, and they have little, you know, short, three minutes, something. So at least you get that time in. If you're not feeling that magic, you can trust that it's there. And this is important because when you're meditating, you're depositing into a spiritual bank, if you will. And so you're building a buffer and that buffer of you being the watcher will mm -hmm. absolutely pay incredible dividends. So if you're not, if you've been meditating for a little while and things are going on in your life, mm -hmm. um, Two things. If you're if you've been dropping off a little bit on your meditation, you haven't been going as long, or you've been taking some breaks, love yourself up, you know, but don't stay there. Get your meditation mm -hmm. in. And even if it's you know, one minute, three minutes, a centering breath, but just so that you keep your practice up, that's the first thing. So don't drop off. And the second thing is trust that you are depositing into your spiritual bank account. And what happens here is sometimes we don't feel it because maybe the problem is still on our mind after we sat down, after we did our meditation and we're like, man, I was hoping to get that peaceful feeling and I don't have it. Mm -hmm. But things I've personally found is mm, magically time stretches in my day. Or I've had this where I, I, um, I have a great meditation that's called, it's a guided meditation that I've created and I, I provide and it's called allowing answers. And so, you know, I'll sit, sometimes the answer comes in my, in my session, boom, answer, mm -hmm. problem solved. Sometimes it doesn't, but guess what? Later on or after my sleep, uh, the answer comes. And then a Ooh. third thing that can happen and, and trust that you're, you're depositing in your account. Okay. So this is you, this is yours mm -hmm. too, is that. Uh, maybe you didn't feel anything today, but then tomorrow you're in traffic. And when that person cuts you off and normally you're like, God, what, you know, now all of a sudden you're like, Meh. these cumulative mm -hmm. that's happen. And so the answer is just trust. Don't drop off and visualize your rewards. So know that, you know, I'm getting more time from this practice. I'm getting peace from this practice. Uh, you know, my, my answer's coming. Whatever it is that you're coming to the practice for is coming for you too. So mm -hmm. hopefully that helps to kind of make it a little easier. I really like that visual of the, you know, depositing, you know, because I think that's that we can grasp you know i mean if you're depositing into your bank account your savings whatever it might be you don't always reap that reward right away but you know it's there and, and you can tap into that when you need it or when you planned on using it so i, I do like that I, I think that's important to know that in those times and days it's not uh you know going the greatest for me I think to remember that, that if it went before, it can go well again, and I've got those resources, you know, that, that I can pull into it. Mm -hmm. I, I really like that. Good. I, I 
I hope that it serves the viewers and yeah, it's it's definitely because mm -hmm. sometimes you're right. You're like, man, I wanted what? No colors today? <laughs> you know. I, I, yeah, and, you know, I, I, I know I go through those stages and, and I've heard that from people and, and it can become disheartening, you know, that, you know, I, I think even for people who've been doing it for a long time, it, it still depends how long that period goes, could be, you know, disheartening. But I think the other thing, you know, that you had mentioned that I think is also important is to look for those rewards throughout the day. So as you say, somebody cuts you off and, you know, you react different than you would have. You kind of kept your calm, your peace. Recognize that, you know, that that's a reward. That's part of what you deposited in those good times. And, you know, it, it came out now. And, and isn't that what we're looking for is, you know, peace throughout the day. Yes. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's it's pretty wonderful when we see ourselves changing. And, and that's been the, a really amazing thing because I would hear all the time, you know, you're the watcher. You can watch your thoughts. You can watch mm -hmm. your breath, right? So cool. Okay, I can dig it, you know. Mm -hmm. And then it starts happening. And you're like, oh, well, cool. Look at me all different all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, wow, like there's someone behind just kind of, Okay, so now I have a choice. I could be mad, but I don't feel like it. Oh, you know, or you know, I, I could be stressed, but eh, you know, it's really a cool, mm -hmm. a cool thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you know, to actually come to those realizations, and and I think that's what we're looking for is you know how do we change our lives to have those outputs? You know, that we can walk around and you know, not just look happy, but actually feel happy and feel at peace. And, you know, like, well, let's let the world do what it's going to do and we're going to cope with it. And, you know, I mean, I, I don't think it means we're going to be happy all the time. You know, I mean, sad times are sad times, but I've got a way to get through those times. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. How has all of this, would you say, kind of changed your life? You know, how, how is finding those, you know, ways of praying and affirming and meditating changed you? Oh, my gosh, Chris. That's the juggernaut <laughs> question. That's the whole show? <laughs> oh, my gosh. In a multitude of ways. In a multitude of ways. So, I mean... Okay, so we've, we've talked about three particular practices. We, we focused in a lot on meditation. We've talked yeah. about, uh, we, we've, we've mentioned affirmations, and we've mentioned prayer. Okay, so each of these has a really juicy, wonderful, awesome effect. Okay, so, you know, we'll start with like, you know, we'll, we'll start with affirmations. So affirmations, okay, for me, have been a lifelong practice. I mean, a long time now. I, I've, I know they work. They've changed my life in a multitude of ways because affirmations, they are, they transcend religion. They transcend, uh, you, you don't have to worry about anything other than what is a positive statement that I can believe right now, that I can hope to believe even. Positive, present tense, and let's go, personal. Mm -hmm. This is such an amazing practice. And so, you know, I mean, it has changed things instantaneously to going from, you know, maybe potentially feeling defeated to being like, no, I, I can, I can, I can transcend this situation. This is not, this is not me. Mm -hmm. to propelling me forward and seeking out things that, you know, oh man, I, I, my background might say this, but this is what I'm telling the world and the situation, you mm -hmm. know? So multiple things, multiple things. Yeah. Uh, affirmations are incredible and I love them because they're, they're fast and they're easy. You know, my, my, my thing is live your best life now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not 10 years mm -hmm. from now, not someday, right? You know, what we get mm -hmm. over and over again, like it's going to be this long trek. And, yep. and look, you know, there are some things that take time and we do get better with time on everything that we take on. But, oh. but,
but you can live your best life now. And affirmations are a good thing. So affirmations uh, have definitely, they've given me immediate power. They've given me immediate peace. They have given me comfort. Um, mm -hmm. So lots of really great mm -hmm. things there. And they've helped me to really declare and pursue things and, and stay focused. So affirmations are big. Uh, prayer is, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God. So, okay. You know, you spoke about sad times and, yeah. um, you know, my person, you know, my grandma was my person and, um, she recently passed away. She passed away mm -hmm. in September and, um, it was, it was, a, it was difficult. Uh, because she had been sick for some time. She had ALS and she had cancer and mm -hmm. it was just a whole cocktail of not good things. Yeah, and, uh, yeah it was really, really, really bad. And um, I got the call saying, guys, it's time. You got to rush over. Mm -hmm. And uh, to the end, Chris, my grandma was a special lady. Okay. To the end, they were, they're saying mm -hmm. she's going to leave on Monday. Oh no, she didn't leave until when she wanted to leave, which was Saturday, many days after, but <laughs> well, it was on her terms. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, look, <laughs> but, um, prayer, Chris, prayer gave me, um, energy. I didn't have, mm -hmm. um, I was with her at her bedside throughout the night. Um, coming back and forth, um, supernatural energy. Uh, prayer gave me comfort and strength. Uh, my uncles were like, how, how come you're not, you know, breaking down? And, you know, and, and there was this incredible um, peace mm -hmm. and um, energy and, and strength because you know, I just would walk in, you know, and, and, and I have to, I have to share this with you because mm -hmm. it's so extraordinary. Um, you know, because the days were passing on and I remember just thinking, you know, you start to get stressed at that time. You start to feel like, what if I'm not there, you know, and it's simple, mm -hmm. simple things like go home and take a shower or, or get up from the bedside and go eat are, are, can become heart-wrenching decisions because you're like, well, what if when I leave, right? right. And um, I just prayed, Chris. I just prayed and I said, you know, God, um, I trust you. And if I'm supposed to be here with her, then I know that you'll put me here with her. So mm -hmm. you tell me, you tell me, God, what to do. You tell me when to go. You tell me what to do and I will do it. And um, and I was I was there with her. Um, mm -hmm. for her final, final breaths into her transition and just amazing things like this is available with prayer, um, answers, peace, energy, joy, um, um, amazing, amazing. Thing. I, I could go on and on. Chris, how much time do you have? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm caught up. I'm not even paying attention. <laughs> um, the, the, to me that those are, are the moments that, that I, I think when we talked earlier about goals, the goal of my life, you know, that you could go through this time and feel those emotions and, and you know, still it's how, how raw it is, but you, you could feel that yet still have a peace at the same time, you know, still uh, at that same time of going through something that you know, would crush people and you know and, and not that i would put anybody down for that at all you know i mean uh, i would, would expect that yet through your practices you're you're able to i guess push through that in in in, in that trust yeah you know and that's why it's like this is such a passion for me because the beauty of it is is that okay every single person Every single human being everywhere, no matter where they are on the planet, no matter how old they are, no matter what, 
they are extraordinary. Every single person is incredibly extraordinary, a miracle in human form. It, it's, it's just amazing. And yet, the incredible, fantastic uh, dichotomy is that mm -hmm. yet no one is more special than the other. And we all have, we all have that, that peace available. We all have that success, that abundance, that love, that, that whatever it is that we're seeking is -hmm. there for us. And these practices get us to hone in, to break the illusion. The, and it's compelling. This computer is compelling. I can touch it, mm -hmm. it computes, right? You know, the bot mm -hmm. is compelling. But all of these things we can transcend and tap into intelligence and 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 time and organization and just the list goes on and on imagine every good thing that you are inspired by or desire to attain and and know that it's available to you in these practices and that is a guarantee it's a i i'm willing to say that that's a guarantee <laughs> and it's so it's just it's it's so exciting i'm like how many people can i tell <laughs> like, <laughs> And, and it's so awesome that you're it because I, I think, and, and I'm glad that it's on video in, in, in that sense that you're not doing something and they're saying, yeah, yeah, whatever, that's not me. They can see the intensity and the intensity shines through to be able to say, this is real. You know, I felt that I was there. I, you know, this happened really should inspire people to say no it's real you know if she could do it and others do it then i can do it yes, yes. Now that, and all of this comes through looking at how you can live your life through prayer affirmations and meditating mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. absolutely and 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 it doesn't need to be all three at once and mm -hmm. One that's you know sounding the easiest or most fun for you and if you say you know hey when i first started oh my god okay so when i first started i was like you know look i'm gonna need my weekends off <laughs> <laughs> all the weekends are the weekends right <laughs> <laughs> you know and then what happens is the, the relationship the love affair builds so hey you know start where you want to start but get started because it's, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's for you. And, and it's a good, wonderful thing, you know, to anyone who's watching and, and on the fence or saying, ah, oh, you know, yeah. Yeah. And, and I, I think that's probably the, one of the best advice, you know, out there is just do something, you know, pick a practice, do your best at it, set your goal and do it daily, every other day, whatever it is, and yeah, just do it. You know, there, there's no sense in waiting, you know, and uh, I, I would hope this even inspires people. You know, I mean, don't don't even wait to say tomorrow. I mean, hey, it depends when you're watching this, you know, start now, uh, you know, at least do something and, uh, you know, see where that takes you, you know, and, and uh, you know, give it a try. Mm -hmm. you know, and and, and uh, yeah, that, that's totally awesome. Um. I didn't realize that story. I've, I've got to get myself back together here. <laughs> um, so you do have a book. Yes. And uh, you, you want to talk a bit about your book and, you know, let us know where to find it. And uh, cause I'm, I'm, you know, knowing people are, you know, listening, you know, it's, hey, you know, I, I want more of this. And there is more of this out there. I mean, yes. there's a website too, but there is more. You got a book out there. Yes, I am so excited about my book. So it's called Love For You Now. The subtitle is Focus On Love And Change Your Life. Love mm -hmm. For You Now. Love For You Now, Love For You, 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 everybody. And I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. So what I've done with this book is I've mixed visualizations and affirmations. So mm -hmm. this is fun. This is light, but powerful and i'm so excited about it because you know like i had, i was talking to you you know my 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 big motto is live your best life now and right. so you know 
now, now, now is big for me. <laughs> and so I love mm -hmm. to deliver and provide and experience goodness quickly. And this book delivers that. And what I love about it is that you can use it in a multitude of ways. And so there's, you know, you can use it as a flip book. You can use it as a picture book. You can use it as an affirmation book. You can, there's even a game element to it. So we're, it's lots of fun because mm -hmm. come on, it, life should be a fun place. You know, it's life, yep. fun, good. And it's not about, you know, I'm, I'm so grateful that I'm, I'm married and I'm happily married and, and all that stuff. But I, I do think it's a disservice to people to kind of continually be told that, like, love is about a relationship. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, love is relationships are a way that we experience and express love. But there's love for all of us, regardless of our relationship status. And so this book is important on so many levels for me. And, and I really appreciate being able to, to provide this and, um, and, and to just see people enjoying it. it. It's just really, really satisfying. So yeah, it's called Love For You Now. Mm -hmm. And it's, you can use it multiple ways, but it's a combination of visuals and affirmations that help you to see, feel, and be love now to notice it now to awaken to it now and there is no relationship required no awkward dates <laughs> no no weird websites you know you can do that too but the book gives you love right now it helps you be it feel it and experience it and it's available on amazon um it's available on, on various sites as well but amazon is like mm -hmm you know, a good place that everybody feels comfortable right. using and stuff like that. You can go to my yeah. website as well, tmarie.com and, uh, and get it there too. So, yeah. 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 No, and it's, and, and I like, how, you know, how flexible the book is because we're all flexible. You know, we, we learn different, we encounter ourselves different and the world different. And, uh, so that piece is great. And your whole thing of the next, now and, and uh, the now, you know, I, I, my writings are about mindfulness, which is about the present moment, or to make it more, more succinct. <laughs> so I I lengthen the now, <laughs> but uh, I like how you, you got word short word, uh, but it is. I mean, that, that's all we have is, is the now and this present moment, and so to set those affirmations. Uh, you know, about how am I going to feel at this moment? How am I going to feel and make that happen? Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that is powerful. Yeah. Awesome. It, it's, it's, it's really great. And, uh, you know, I'm definitely open to, you know, I've had people uh, reacting and responding and stuff. And, and I have that option open in the book for, for people to reach out and let me know. Um, you know, I think, Another big component about these types of things. So whether we're talking about the book, Love For You Now, or whether we're talking about meditation, or whether we're talking about prayer or affirmations, you know, what I really love is, you know, these things can be proven. Mm -hmm. and, and so, you know, get the book, prove the book, you know, yeah. let it go to work for you. You know, get your practice on. And, and report mm -hmm. those results because the results are there. And uh, to me, that's exciting because sure. there are those that may feel that these types of things are very um, woo-woo or they're, mm -hmm. you know, right? And mm -hmm. you, what's exciting is like, you know what, honey? I'll tell you something. If you want to get your little scientist on, um, pick a practice and prove it because proof shows up. And I think that's a really fun and dynamic thing because as we continue to see that, it gets more exciting. And then you're yeah. just like, oh, wow. And there's more good and there's more good. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, and, and that is very true because when I first started uh, school to get into counseling, and, and this is a, a few decades ago, that 
all anything if you talked about meditation or mindfulness or zen or whatever that was yeah the stuff like eh, yeah whatever that's religion don't do that you know and, and you were here's the evidence-based practices you know and the scientific practices um but what's interesting is you know what we find is where it was all the like anecdotal evidence you know where we could say well people feel better so therefore it must work well, there's been enough studies out there, and, and I put them on my website in, in a few of my blogs, that um, Harvard has done a recent study. There's been a couple other universities with studies that are saying that people who meditate and like 20 minutes a day, which doesn't seem like a lot, but 20 minutes a day actually grow gray matter in the brain. And that's huge. You know, I mean, what we thought that, you know, gray matter didn't, grow you know like you had what you had and especially if you're you know damaging your damage your gray matter and well you know but what they're saying is no new is growing by daily meditation yes there is the science you know so it's there and, and more people are starting to study this and more people are talking about this not as some you know woo woo thing of you know and, and i think it's great because it's worked for millennia. <laughs> yes. And now we're finding, you know, hey, science is kind of saying hmm, there's something to this. And it's not just makes you feel good. It's actually doing things to the physical body. Yes. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's so. so exciting, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Um, yes. Oh, yeah. Th th this isn't a fad, you know, and, and when I started writing a lot about mindfulness and all a few years ago, and, you know, some people would say that, you know, like, why are you jumping on the fad? You know, are you just trying to get your name out or whatever? It's like, this isn't a fad. You know, this has been around, like, say, for millennia. Mm -hmm. And here we are now, like a year ago, you know, Harvard saying, you know what, there, there's some truth to this scientifically. And other people are coming up with this, you know, well-known, uh, you know, places that, no, I'm not jumping on a fad at all. Yeah. Th this is something we all need to be doing, mainstream it, and uh, think of what would happen if we all lived this way. Oh. It, 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 yes. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. incredible. It is incredible. And, and, and it's very exciting because uh, the more of us that, that do, you know, I, I personally have experienced a multitude of very tangible results tangible results like mm -hmm. you know in the natural i should get there late but somehow i got there even early mm -hmm. you know in the natural it doesn't look like there's a way and then i sat in silence with an openness to just receive and now i have a multitude of options viable options answers to my question that mm -hmm. I clearly couldn't get on my own, so to speak, like just when I was trying to sit and figure it out. So well, multitude of things, you know, the, the things I shared with you in my in my story where it's like dude, physical feelings that transcend the feelings of the heart, but actual into like, wow, I have literally had no sleep and I have energy, not caffeinated mm -hmm. energy. I have a natural force that is it's it's incredible. So yeah. Yeah. Not to mention what you're talking about. Yes, about the brain matter and about mm -hmm. just, oh my gosh. Yeah. It's, it, it, it's huge. <laughs> it's huge. Yeah. 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 Get a bunch of people together and have them all do this and live their lives this way. Um, we wouldn't recognize the world in a good sense. <laughs> yes. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully that encourages people to go get that book <laughs> and practice, you know, what, what you're saying. Um, so as uh, time is kind of moving along, is there anything that you want to make sure that gets out there that we haven't yet said anything or have we covered everything? No. Well, you know, I just, I just, sincerely invite anyone who's watching or who will watch if your eyes are here we were meant to meet i am so happy to meet you and something in here is for you 
Trust what led you here. Go for it. You deserve it. And, you know, when it comes to any of these practices, when it comes to the book, uh, if you're slightly intrigued, go for it. If you mm -hmm. have a sense that, you know, again, it's not about a relationship. This is not a relationship book. And why do we want more love in our lives? Why do we want love at all? Because love transcends everything. And right. when we're feeling loved, when we love ourselves, when we love what we're doing, then yeah, mm -hmm. you're seeing through rose colored glasses. Nothing can hurt you. Nothing's a problem because it's, it's all awesome. And so all these good things are available to you. My book is Love For You Now. You can get it on Amazon and, you know, or on my website, teamree.com. Mm -hmm. And definitely, you know, you, you, you know Chris, so you trust all the stuff he's talking about. And, you know, he, he's awesome. Mindfulness, yes. Being in the now, <laughs> yes. You know, finding that peace and having that peace at all times with you is not only available to you, it is your birthright. So plug in. Any path you you want, but try it, do it, and enjoy with us, uh, right, Chris? Uh, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Join us, do this, <laughs> and, and I think what will be really cool is you know to visit your website, you know, teamery.com, my website, lifestreamblog.com. Let us know on our social medias, you know, if you're trying any of this, you know, and, and how it's working, and you know what you're doing because you know. I think it's the community that matters. Yeah. And if people are finding a way to make this work for them, really great way to share it. You know, let, let everybody else know and, and throw us a post or an email, whatever, to say, hey, this is what I've been doing and it's working because, you know, we can get that out to other people who might say, huh, never thought of it that way. Mm -hmm. And they can do that, you know, so it doesn't necessarily have to be what we say. It could be what somebody else took from this and, you know, did their own, but, I agree with what you're saying. The, the point is let's jump in and do it and work on changing your life. And if it works for you, go with it and then share it. Yeah. You know, be, be out there doing it. I mean, we can only reach so many people, but uh, I believe in the domino effect. You know, we reach certain people and others reach others and others reach others. And, you know, by the time you know it, I mean, everybody's reach. So that's... Uh, so definitely get the book. <laughs> Everybody needs to get the book. Um, yeah, this will uh, be put over uh, all of my uh, podcasts and all my sites, and uh, I will have links uh, over to your site uh, so that they can go and you know grab uh, the book and uh, be able to get in touch with you. Is that the best way if people want to get in touch with you? Should they just go over your website, or is there a, a different, better way for them to be in touch? Uh, my website is a great place. There's a contact form there to reach out to me personally. And mm -hmm. there's lots of offerings there. Uh, so that's a great way to get in touch. Social media. On social media, I'm teamarie.com. So teamarie, D-O-T-C-O-M. Mm -hmm. And that's on social media. So I'm definitely active there and I love to hear from people. I, I, I love it. So definitely, if you have a suggestion, a question, or are taking these practices and share those results, uh, share it because it, it's a beautiful thing. And mm -hmm. I certainly love to hear it. I, I love to hear it. I love to celebrate with you and I love to be of service if there's something that you need a little bit of, you know, hey, I thought this, but it's not where, you know, just bring it on and we'll handle it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what more need to be said, right? <laughs> well, I, I definitely appreciate, you know, you coming on and, and sharing your story, sharing, you know, all the wonderful stuff that's going on with your life. Uh, definitely an inspirational a moment and uh, really appreciate all that you do and, and the time to share it with us. So thank you very much. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate you. I appreciate you having me here and definitely share uh, the links and stuff and I will post them mm -hmm. up also. 
I, I really appreciate this very much. So thank you. And, you know, I would love to continue, you know, talking with you on social media and who knows, we may meet like this again. Sounds, uh, sounds excellent because I know there's a lot more to share and say. Uh, <laughs> so we'll, we'll definitely have to do that. So again, thank you. And I hope the best of a uh, happy new year to you and your family. And, uh, you know, 17 is filled with possibilities. Yes, indeed. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Bye, everyone. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for listening to this episode with Chris Shea. Learn more about Chris Shea by visiting his website, www.lifesjourneyblog.com.